Lost King of the Islands by Herminia Sina. <coughs> the Iliades, or Earthland High Elves, ruled Sildo in the long ages of myth before the beginning of recording history. One of the earliest recorded dates, in fact, is the fall of the White Gold Tower in First Era 243 which is commonly assumed to mark the end of the Aeolites I don't know of though Aeolites rule over all of Cyrodiil was indeed broken in the first era 243 this was only one of the most obvious stages near the end of a long decline the first two centuries of the first era saw increasing strife between the great allied lords of Cyrodiil. Alasia appeared to have taken advantage of a period of civil war to launch her uprising. Imperial historians have traditionally attributed their victory to intervention from Skyrim, but it appears that she had at least as much help from rebel Highlights launched during the siege of the White Gold Tower. How do you say that? A light? I don't know. The popular image of the Highlights as brutal slave masters is based in fact, of course. It's based in fact, of course. But it is less well known that the number of Highlight princes continued to rule parts of Cyrodiil after 263 as vessels of the new emperors, emperor, empress of Cyrodiil. This suggests either that Aeolite's rule was not universally detested, or that Alasia and her successor successors were more pragmatic than it is traditionally believed, or perhaps some of both. In so Okay. In any event, excavations at the number of Eilat sites show continued continued occupation and even expansion during the so called late highlight period. Third century two hundred forty three to through four hundred and ninety eight. At first many Eilat lords continued to rule as vessels of the new human regime. In some cases, Allied supporters of Ale Alessia were even rewarded with new lands taken from slain enemies. It is not clear to what extent human slavery continued under the Cyrodiil, Cyrodelic Empire. Empire. Humans continued to dwell in the Allied ruled areas of Cyrodiil, but there is nothing definite to show on the de what terms. This was the uh, this was an uneasy relationship from the beginning and was not destined to last long. Resentment and at the continued presence of Allied nobles within the Empire was a contributing factor to the rise of the so-called Alasian Order, founded by Murak, a Maruk. Maruk? Uh, I don't know. The first victims of the Alasians were the Allies of Cyrodiil in the early early 300s. The surviving Eilites hmm? communities in human root areas were ob ob oh, 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 uh, obliter obliterated one by one. The refugees temporarily swelling the power of the remaining Eilite lordships. Then in 361 the Alasians gained control of the empire and enforced the Alasian doctrinus throughout its domain. The Alasian lordship were abolished. I don't know. Enforcement of this degree does not appear to have requ required much direct violence. It seems that by this point the balance of power was so overwhelmed 
overwhelmingly against them and their face so long foreshadowed that most of the remaining eyelids simply left Cyrodiil, eventually being absorbed into the elven population of Valenwood and High Rock. Indeed, the rise of the Dem then the Renni Hegemony may be linked to this exodus of highlights from Seodol, the connection so far little studied by historians. Still rem remnant allied population seems to have survived the rule of the Alasians because we hear of the last king of the highlights joining the battle of Glenumbria Moors where the Dinarins this this shit I don't know man oh decisively <laughs> defeated the Alessians in 482 how this king's people survived the predescending century is unknown we do not even know who they were although recent research points to Nainalata as the possible resting place of this last king. Oh, we probably have to go there then. Unfortunately, in the current state of the empire, funds are no longer available for proper scientific investigations at s such extensive ruins, so the answer of those questions will have to be left to future generations. Oh, that's interesting. So the last of those kings is buried in La Nuna Lata or something. <laughs> I don't know. All right. The last book is fragment. Oh wait. Yeah. All right. Fragment on on tre on treum, on trium. Strange words for me. I don't know. 